Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of The Briefing. In today's episode, we are chatting all things Northwest. That's right, Kim Kardashian's 10-year-old daughter has done the rounds on socials after performing I Just Can't Wait to Be King at the Hollywood Bowl. And if you haven't seen the clip, I'll play a bit for you now. So we are joined by entertainment reporter and Hollywood guru, Richard Reed. He spoke with host of The Briefing, Sasha Barber Gatt, to talk all things Nepo Babies, why everyone is mad at Kim Kardashian and Northwest, and essentially whether or not we are getting sick of celebrities. Hope you enjoy. Richard, thank you so much for joining us on The Briefing today. Welcome. Look, The discourse around Nepo babies is nothing new, but people are really fired up about this Northwest stuff. Why is that? Well, I think justifiably so. I mean, to put it in really intellectual, smart person terms, uh, Northwest sucks. (laughs) She was just (laughs) not good at all. I think everyone there had their breath held you could kind of feel it that they wanted her to be good but that first note came out of her mouth and boom it was a clunker and it didn't get any better than that yeah you're so right and I think that's why I have gotten a bit fired up about this because as I said we've talked about Nepo babies before but I think there's this argument that well if they're good at what they do then you know who are we to say that they shouldn't get that opportunity? But in this case, kids had been auditioning for this role. One of the mothers actually came out and said, my child got really far into the process. And then Northwest just swoops in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Swoops in is right. You know, I, I sniffed around some people at the Hollywood bowl and apparently the producer of this big event, the Lion King Estravaganza, is the same producer of the Kardashians TV show. So there was a little bit of a conversation. They said, well, if your daughter can carry a note, she is in, no questions asked. And would you mind bringing a TV crew so maybe the show would feature on an episode of the Kardashians? And while you're at it, if we can get a little extra publicity, because Northwest is one of the top line stars, so be it. So I don't even understand why they held auditions. Yeah, well, it sounds like it had been planned a little bit in that case. And uh, I suppose what you've just described there is nepotism at its finest, where it's, (laughs) it's, you know, all of these tiny little moving parts that it's not as simple as it just being, oh, I'm the daughter of a famous actress. It's production companies and directors and producers and all of these little moving parts that end up with people getting these huge roles. Now, You know, I think Northwest has copped plenty of criticism, but there are plenty of other Nepo baby examples. Why don't you talk us through some? Mm, Okay, well, let's talk about just let's talk about some OGs just really quick, just really quick. A couple of top liners. The OG, of course, the biggest one is Gwyneth Paltrow. She's like the original OG, two famous parents. You know who her godfather is, right? No, I don't. Uh, Steven Spielberg, you may have heard of him. So uh, (laughs) she was definitely ushered in, you know, with very, very open hands. You know, and then you have, what do you think, Miley Cyrus? Was she a Nepo baby? Well, Billy Ray. Billy Ray Cyrus, yeah. Yeah, he was a one-hit wonder, but he still had those connections. Yeah. Lily Collins, what do you think of Lily Collins? Who's her parents? I don't even know. Oh, Phil Collins. Hello. Something's in the air tonight. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. That's I should have okay. known that one. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. No, that's fine. Hey, I'm sure she would prefer you didn't know her father was Phil Collins. But you know, some of the real recent ones. Okay, you have Haley Bieber, formerly known as You Know Who. Haley Baldwin. Well, Baldwin. She's from the Baldwin clan. You know, her, her dad was lesser known, Stephen Baldwin, you know, the usual suspect. But she really rode in on that name. The thing I like about Haley is that she doesn't pretend to be anything she's not. You know, she was a pretty girl. She was a great model. She did some MTV, you know, hosting, blah, blah, blah. She, you know what? She is who she is. She's not pretending to be a superstar, have a great singing voice, anything. This brings us to my next examples, two of the most 
overrated Nepo babies ever, and that would be the children of a Jada and a Will Smith, Jaden and Willow Smith. I definitely have an opinion on this one, girl. Really? You think, because, okay, so my first exposure to Jaden Smith was in The Pursuit of Happiness, the 2006 film, Will Smith plays his dad. Will Smith is obviously his dad in real life. I thought Jaden was excellent in that movie. You know, it's really easy, I think, for children to be good in movies because they're essentially being themselves. Later on, when they, you know, have to start acting, you know, Karate Kid, what was that horrible movie, After Earth, the one they did together that really kind of sabotaged Jaden's acting career? Jaden has even told people in the industry, yeah, I know I'm not a great actor. Why don't I try singing? He tried singing for a while. You know, he did open for a lot of legitimate bands. He opened for his buddy Justin Bieber, but he's on an extended break right now. I think that, you know, even for him, I think the glass ceiling, you know, of those who are really talented breakthrough. And I just don't think he did it, even with all the influence of his parents. I honestly also think that the Will Smith Oscar scandal affected both he and Willow to a great extent. I I had a a quick listen to, you know, uh, uh, Willow's albums. And I got to tell you, I couldn't get past, I went my hair back and forth. I went, you know, that was a highlight (laughs) for me. And that was a million years ago, you know, and get this. I want to tell you really quick. Willow has said in an interview, yeah, there's no denying I'm a Nepo baby. I did have a hand in, you know, my parents helped me. But her argument is, but I'm black. And that's the biggest obstacle there is. And I'm like, oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm gay. I'm old. Isn't that an obstacle? I guess, you know, we all have our cross to bear. And, you know, good for you, Willow. I, I appreciate you throwing that into the mix. Yeah. Yeah. No, fair enough. And look, I... We were talking before we hit record and you are in defense of Nepo babies, even though you admit some are talentless as you've just taken us through with Jaden and Willow. Um, But you think fair enough when it comes to Nepo babies getting opportunities? I absolutely do. I think when they're talented, thank you for clarifying that. (laughs) Yes, when they're talented, I think, you know, you have, you know, uh, the ones I love. I love Maya Hawk, who's, you know, the daughter of Ethan Hawk and Uma Thurman. So good. She really revitalized, I think, Stranger Things. You know, she she even has come out and said, you know, yeah, no, I'm a Nepo baby, but I feel like an imposter too. But she seems very grounded, down to earth. She's grateful. A lot of them just don't feel grateful to me. Like they deserve that hand out and the hand up. I think another one, another OG, Kate Hudson, you know, mm. I think she's knows who she is, Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell's daughter. You know, that's a little bit old school. But, you know, I think if they do have talent, it's great. But if they don't, you know, be a one hit wonder. Do your thing and then go away. <laughs> I think the problem with Nepo Babies, though, and as you said, Will, uh, Jaden Smith's gone, well, I'm taking a break. Um, they... They don't necessarily know how to do anything else. It's not like they've gone, well, I'm I'm speaking very generally, of course, but we're talking about Mm. these big Hollywood stars' children. It's not like they've gone to uni or they've studied anything. They kind of do what they can do. And in this case, it's getting into Hollywood, getting into singing, getting into movies or TV shows. I wanted to ask you, because you do have such uh, an in-depth understanding of Hollywood, How hard is it for a nobody to make it in Hollywood? Oh, well, unless you're Australian, which is always a one-way ticket to (laughs) Successville in America. We love our Australians, but I digress. It (laughs) is so hard, so hard to just get your foot in the door. You know, it's always a combination of things. Usually, If you're incredibly beautiful, that opens a lot of doors. But if you're just a real character actor, I I would think it'd be so challenging. And getting someone to listen to your demo tape, if you're a singer or performer in any way, just getting that first little bit of a kernel. If you go back all the way, even Madonna, she's like, she slept her way until someone played her demo tape. You know, good for her. You do what you can. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know what? If you can get any kind of edge, 
I think good for you. Fair enough. But you better have the talent to back it up. Mm, and that's what I was going to ask you next was, do you think, because I feel like, and and I, you know, we've said it, Northwest sucks. <laughs> um, she was, she was not very good. However, you know, it's not her fault. She's 10 years old. She was put on this stage. Of course, she's going to say yes. And she was probably hyped up by all the people around her to believe that she was going to be amazing. So I'm not trying to pick on Northwest when I say this, but do you think the reason people are so pissed off about her case in particular is because she is talentless? No, no. I think it's because she's a Kardashian. Uh, uh, definitely. I think she's talentless and a Kardashian. <laughs> and, you know, uh, they are the family that people love to hate. I don't know if recently you saw uh, Kim Kardashian do the big Tom Brady roast. Apparently, when she came out to do her big roast of Tom Brady, the audience booed for a good six minutes. And then when they replayed it, they cut the booze out. They said, oh, this is just way too mean. So the reaction of a coliseum full of people towards Kim and they boo for six minutes, I think, you know, she might play well to her demo, but anywhere out of that, I don't think it really plays. So I think we are going to see a big turning of the tides with the Kardashian. And I think, you know, I honestly think Northwest might want to buy a food truck and sell tacos. Why tacos? I don't know. Any, that's just the kind of food I would buy at a food truck. I don't know. <laughs> maybe she should, you know, get her real estate license and then maybe she could be on million dollar listing. You know, just yep. do something where you don't have to sing or have a personality. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I'm so mean. I'm sorry. I should not have said that. You got me. You got me fired up. Don't you even start, Sasha. Okay, okay, you're like, okay. Oh, you're clutching. If you can see her, she's clutching her chest. Oh, oh no, my pearls. No, I would never. Oh, come on. Come okay. on. Okay, <laughs> I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself then. Okay, um, thank you. Thank because you. Because the thing that I've noticed since COVID uh, is that it's seen, you know, it started with the Gal Gadot um, Imagine video yeah. where they were all seeing imagine all the people and it was all these celebrities in their rich mansions while Very. the rest of us were stuck at home we couldn't go to work we had no money um it feels like since then there has been this little bit of a turning tide towards celebrity in general it feels like we're kind of sick of them lauding their wealth and their privilege over us are you seeing are you, as as someone who is so in touch with what is happening in hollywood and with celebrities yeah, would you agree that that is happening well, lording, you know, it's all a matter of interpretation and perception. And you have to consider who the person is who thinks the celebrities are doing the lording. It's really easy. Let's just take the, the Gal Gadot Imagine. We get one person on social media who bags them out. And then people, it's just a huge pile on. And so I think, yes. In this kind of bully gang internet Twitter environment, yeah, I think that, that people are tired of them. But you know, for the most part, if I'm scrolling at home and I don't read the comments, I'm like, ah, she's got nice drapes. You know, oh, those <laughs> curtains are really nice. You know, so I, I really think in this day and age, ev no one wants to be first to be mean. Everyone wants to be second. Yeah, that's such like, a good point. I chose to be mean after I, you know, heard you a tone in your voice. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're not blaming this on me. <laughs> Richard. Oh, okay, all right. I'm living to be cancelled, so there you go. Well, maybe you will be, no. Um, it has been so much fun chatting with you. As I said, you have such a unique and uh, in-depth understanding of this, so who better to talk to? Thank you so much for your time. Uh... Well, I've been around like a big old record. Remember records? Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> Well, that is it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and keep up to date with everything we do here at The Briefing. But also leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of this chat. I'm Sasha Barbagat. Catch you next time.